Hello again, St. Lucia, and welcome to the program Agriculture on the Move. I am Philip Sidney, your host. Today, our discussion is very broad, but very, very interesting and very important. It's called World Food Safety Day, which we will celebrate on the 7th of June. And of course, our theme is food safety, everyone's business. With me today are two interesting young ladies, my immediate right is Yufalia Filchers, who is my good friend. <laughs> Yufalia, tell Sonja about yourself. Okay, my name is Yufalia Filchers, as Mr. Sidney has said. I um, have uh, many years of experience in the food sector, which includes food technology, nutrition, and food safety, okay. which is one of my main areas of study. And um, I have been working with persons from the farm level, up to the um, processing level. Mm -hmm. So that gives me a range of experience in food, of sa food mm -hmm. safety. Definitely, I know that very well. <laughs> Hi, good day everyone. So my name is Cherry Ann Smith and I'm an agricultural officer. And I recently completed a master's degree in food safety and quality assurance. Currently I work at the marketing unit and we're working to promote food safety in St. Lucia. Great. Give us a little background, Sherry, on concerning this um, World Food Safety Day. So last year in 2018, the United Nations, together with the Codex Alimentarius, the FAO, FAO Food and Agriculture Organization, and also the United Nations, um, during one of the United Nations General Secretary meeting, they decided that it's very important to observe World food, food, world food Safety Day. And it was there that they decided that World Food Safety Day will be celebrated each year on the 7th of June. Mm -hmm. So we are here to today to make St. Lucians aware or to become more aware of food safety, what it involves, and how, what um, disadvantages I could say if we do not follow the necessary protocols associated with food safety. Good. If, well, if Ms. Phil, just tell us about, you know, um, what is food safety? Food safety is ensuring that whatever that is edible for human use mm. is in a condition that when a human eats it, mm. that it will not get them sick or infect them or injure them in any way. Mm -hmm. And most times when you think of food safety, we think of only getting infected sick, but you could eat something with a bolt, bolt and then crack your teeth, mm -hmm. something, you know. So mm -hmm. we have both physical things that could cause injury to humans. We have microorganisms and we also have toxins like mm -hmm. chemicals that can also get you sick. So these are the different ways that we can make food bad. Mm -hmm. There are three different ways, microorganisms that could make you sick. We also have the um, physical ways where you get nails and you get um, pieces of wood, mm -hmm. you get metal mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. kind of stuff like that in food. Even hair that may not cause injury, but then you don't want to see a piece of hair in your food. Unsightly. Definitely <laughs> not. Yeah. You'd wonder what else is going on exactly. at the back there when they cook in the food. Mm -hmm. And we also look at the chemicals which also can be introduced at the processing plant, not only on the farm, yes, mm -hmm. on the farms, but you know, we get chemicals put into our food mm -hmm. so that they could get mm -hmm. preserved and so on. They could put too much of that. That could also make us sick. Mm -hmm. So there's a range of areas that mm -hmm. we need to look at when we say food safety. Mm -hmm. So and Mr. Sidney, mm -hmm. excuse me, mm -hmm. um, even before we can define what is food safety, it's important that we define what is food. Mm -hmm. So food, as we, 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 we know, is any substance that we take into mm -hmm. our body that provides our body with nutrition. Right. Now, according to the, the World Food Organization, um, animal feed does not um, constitute food. Mm -hmm. There are different things. Mm -hmm. Plants before harvesting is not considered food. Mm -hmm. Tobacco, mm -hmm. these things are not considered food. So food is anything that provides our body with nutrients. Mm -hmm. Food safety then would be 
the different measures that we take, for example, the handling of the food, the preparing, the storage, mm -hmm. um, the correct temperatures to mm -hmm. prevent those risks. And like Yufalia said, mm -hmm. we have the chemical risk, the microbiological risk, and the physical risk mm -hmm. associated mm -hmm. yeah. with food. And you know, the, the, the most uncomfortable situation is, you know, you have a, a nice plate of food and you, you, you're enjoying it, and then you, as you bite, you hear, Koo! Yes. <laughs> yes. There's a stone or something. Yes. My yes. nursing is so annoying. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. but so that is considered a physical mm -hmm. hazard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the worst thing is the ones that we don't see. Yes. That's the right. one oh, that yes. destroys you the oh, most. Yes. yes. So oh, yes. we have the microbiological and yes. the, and the um, chemicals. chemicals. Right, right. Which the mm -hmm. chemical now is an important issue. We which brings us to the pesticide residue, which mm -hmm. I think we'll get into a little yes, bit yes, later. Yes, yes. But like she said, those we cannot see mm -hmm. are our main concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Th there's a saying, okay, um, from the farm to the table That's but for me it's from the soil to your mouth <laughs> and beyond mm -hmm. yeah, you understand because, because it's getting there exactly <laughs> so so if it's good and getting there of course you look buoyant mm -hmm. but if it's bad of course it gets you sick mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but let's go back to i mean it's a pity somebody is not here to really talk about you know from the soil level from mm -hmm. the farm level because for me that's where it starts mm -hmm. okay from the soil mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. what you is given to the plant mm -hmm. what the plant takes up mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. So if you use uh, your, your chemicals, uh, your, your toxic chemicals, and that's not used correctly, mm -hmm. okay, and the plant takes it up and you, you eat the plant, uh, be it vegetatively, like, mm -hmm. like um, um, lettuce or tomatoes, I'm sure you can get sick, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Right. And mm -hmm. so, I was just about to say, if not only plants, mm -hmm. you have to get animals mm -hmm. also. Right, right, so right. We, I mean, we, you said plants, but we have to look at the fish because the way we think the environment, the mm -hmm. way we treat the environment mm -hmm. can affect the way our fish gets to us because right. if we put all kind of junk into the sea, mm -hmm. that is what we're going to get. Yes. We also have Polluted. our animals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when we feed them with all those um, um, antibiotics. Yes, yes, and yes. remember, anytime it gets into the animal, the concentration gets higher. So then the concentration gets into the human at a higher level. Mm -hmm. So we need mm -hmm. to know how we put those things, how we give the animals those things, how we treat the environment because Correct. all of that, things like acid rain, maybe it doesn't happen here yet, mm -hmm. but in other countries mm -hmm. we have all the pollution in the air that when the rain comes down goes into the soil and it affects us that with a farmer didn't even put into exactly. the soil. Exactly. So the whole way we treat our environment sure. is affects the way our food gets into our bodies. Definitely. So yes, just yes, last sir. week a mm -hmm. farmer was asking me, but I don't understand how this ministry people telling us um, that we should not spray our crops. But here, here it is, we are spraying those chemicals directly on the crops mm -hmm. and you're asking us to observe residue limits, but we already spraying them directly on the crops which we are eating. So where is the concern here? Mm -hmm. But the truth is, after you spray your pesticides, there is a wet period, mm -hmm. there's a, a, an mm -hmm. interval that you're supposed to wait Correct. where the chemical becomes less concentrated. Correct. So if you don't observe that wait period, obviously, is going to have an effect on our on our human and that is very very important mm -hmm, eh? mm -hmm. the two reasons there eh? one the farmer would spray and he's supposed to wait for this uh wait period mm -hmm. maybe 14 days mm -hmm. yes um four days into his spray all right Massey calls him mm -hmm. for a crop yes the money is there is right he would harvest it. He will harvest it, and that's what happens. And that's the problem. Yes. Okay? yes. Then we as consumers, we purchase it. Mm -hmm. this, the, for me, th there's another more important point, predialacine. Yes. So the farmer has to yes. The farmer sprays it today, especially to um, lettuce, mm -hmm. because you can eat lettuce at uh, any uh, stage. So yes. yes. Right? He sprays it today. The, farmer, the, 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 the guy passed the next day, mm -hmm. and he would harvest it and sell it to you. Yes. 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 You can imagine what, what's happening to us. Yes, and you, you, you need to understand the level of diseases that we have here now. Exactly. And we don't understand what's happening in the country because everybody is sick. Exactly. And so we now we're seeing increases in chronic diseases mm -hmm. and cancers, cancers and these things. And we, 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 we don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know no, so it could possibly may as well be because of some of those practices. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Hold that point. We do for our first break. You're watching Agriculture in the Move. Stay tuned. What's in the food you're eating? Do you really even know? All the chemicals and hormones used to accelerate their growth. All the artificial flavoring, sweetness.
sweeteners and colors too We consume and we don't spare a thought For the damage that they'll do the that No, they do. think about the children Think about the children How will we save them? Chemicals and GMOs are not the solution Use organic and join Excessive agrochemical use, additives, and genetically modified foods are harmful to health and the environment. Join the good food revolution. Grow, buy, and consume organic. A message from Rice St. Lucia and the Ministry of Sustainable Development with funding from the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. The good food revolution. Welcome back to the program. Uh, I, we don't want to scare you, you know. We just want to, to be aware of your surroundings how you should eat what you should eat get information those persons who are involved in biology you would know about plants and how they function you, you have the vascular bundles the xylem and your phloem you know the, the uptake of water and nutrients via the, the, the xylem the phloem brings it back down to manufacturing so whatever that is sprayed and if it is very toxic, of course, it is manufactured in the plant itself. So that is why the farmers have to be very, very, very careful. You know, when what they spray, the concentration, the right rate of that chemical is very, very important. And people, mind you, you, you all need to be alert and you know, start to use the, la the less harsh chemicals, you know, when you are spraying your plants, okay? There, there are biological control that you can use, IPM. I mean, speak to your station officer and you will know all about it. But you thought you're going to come back to you. You talk about, you know, various organisms that are, can be detrimental. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little more about that. Okay. Most of us, when we, um, we think that when we cook the food, we kill off all the bacteria. Yes, that is true. However, bacteria can can produce toxins. Mm -hmm. If you leave the food out in the temperature danger zone for long enough, it, the bacteria will form toxins that you cannot kill even if you cook. And that is very prevalent, especially in fish also, that some enzymes um, um, break down and causes mm -hmm. toxins. And when we have the fish left outside, especially we tell the fishermen, try to put the fish on ice. Mm -hmm. But they look at that their boats, they need to do maximum use and put enough fish in mm -hmm. their boat so they, they don't want to carry the ice bucket or the ice box that is given to them all. So I'm saying some of these are the things we need to look at. Toxins are not only from um, chemicals placed in, but the, the natural um, toxins from bacteria mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, breaking down of enzymes because sometimes when you eat fish, you feel it prick your mouth. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, yes, right. because these are toxins that has done because of enzymatic breakdown right. of, the f of the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at those things and these things you cannot cook them out mm -hmm. they will stay in the meat you cook it and then you can get infected you may an adult may not get die from it but you have child or people that are sick can get infected mm -hmm. and get very mm -hmm. sick from those toxins so so the the fish um when it gets contaminated via what you see and it starts to prick your tongue and your your lips get you know swollen, swollen. and some people mm -hmm. face get all, all swollen yes, yes, yes. yeah so, so these are toxins, toxins. yes yeah, these are called also considered um chemical to, um, 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 hazards and risks and we must also look at allergens mm -hmm. some we don't look at allergens as a risk but it is a risk now mm -hmm. people are allergic to everything these mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. so we we need to look at that too when we prepare our foods what are we putting in there and we must be aware of people that are allergic to certain things that they don't get um, um, contact with that thing okay uh, take us to the handling of food Mm -hmm. harvesting and up to where, where, what you just spoke about mm -hmm. the handling of food um, so there's something called good agricultural practices. practices now the good agricultural practices are various measures that are put in place for a farmer to observe, um, especially during his harvesting process. So the good agricultural practices would involve things like ensuring that you're using your, your safety gears mm -hmm. um, during harvesting, yep. yes. also um, when you're spraying, Again, too. When you're spraying mm -hmm. also post-harvest, mm -hmm. what is it that you do with the fruits mm -hmm. after some, some farmers they harvest and they leave it out in the sun? Mm -hmm. That could 
affect the quality of the fruit as well mm -hmm. and also the safety of the food. Mm -hmm. and where you store it is also important. Mm -hmm. We have done some studies and some products are, are very good from the farm but when they stay, when they store them and then they sell them, they find all kinds of things going on because you could uh, have access to insects. Mm -hmm. Insects could come in there. We were looking at a study done on farine and they say they found fecal coliforms in farine mm -hmm. and that is, that is due to storage. Mm -hmm. So the problem in most of agriculture products is where it is stored mm -hmm. and our farmers sometimes are not careful in what bag they put it they put it in a dirty box in a dirty mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. container mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then they just it put it away now she talked about good agricultural practices we also have good manufacturing practices mm -hmm. which is in the in the plant mm -hmm. so in the plant where it is processed mm -hmm. you need to practice the good manufacturing practices mm -hmm. like ensuring that everything that you do from the beginning to the end buying from a reputable um, supplier mm -hmm. is very important mm -hmm. garbage mm -hmm. in garbage out mm -hmm. if your supplier give you bad products and the, it's not being cooked at any stage then you're going to have bad food and remember the toxins we talk about we can have toxins in that food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you need to be careful who you buy from mm -hmm. how you manufacture the people that are pr uh, manufacturing in your plant have to be in a healthy condition because we look at cross contamination mm -hmm. they need to be aware of food safety themselves i cannot use the same chopping board that i just put meat on oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, just yeah. go and yes. chop bread or yes. whatever yes. on yes. it or vegetables yes. Yes. on yes. it or don't yes. even wash it properly forget to bleach it put bleach on it to kill off the bacteria and then put something else on it. Let, 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 me give you, let, let me give you a, sc a scary thing. Eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'll not see the place. Um, you, the guys who actually clean fish on those same um, wooden chopping mm. boards, okay? Mm -hmm. And after the day, they put it away, mm -hmm. okay? Rats run on it, mm -hmm, they pee course. on it, mm -hmm. and whatever the case may be. Um, somebody came on the, the next day and they took that board and they th threw in some um, bleach material. Mm. You will not believe what came out from the cracks mm -hmm. of this maggots mm -hmm. wow. right okay and the guys would use this the next day to chop fish again mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that is dangerous yeah, they need it to is. wash it properly you it understand mm. who monitors these things okay who monitors? i mean i know we have a ministry of health i mm -hmm. mean they're supposed to be on board to ensure that doesn't happen is, is, is there is there a, a real monitoring system to ensure that happens I cannot answer that question. Yeah, we cannot okay. answer that Me question. Either. Okay. But we but can also say mm -hmm. that the ministries could come together. Oh, yes, we have to yeah, work together. We have to work yeah, together absolutely. to make sure that those things are put in place that to ensure definitely, food safety. Definitely. So this is one thing we can say that we need to mo work together mm -hmm. closely mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. ensure that food safety issues are guarded closely because they need to be guarded closely. Definitely. I Karen? also wanted to add a, um, add a point to what Eufalia was saying. Um, say, for example, we go to the supermarket, we get our groceries. Most of us, what we do, we dump we dump them in our truck mm -hmm. we have meats mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. drive mm -hmm. all over the place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this Collecting too we need to be very 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 um cognizant of this practice food fraud yes mm -hmm. so <laughs> food fraud is one of my main areas of study right and um what is food fraud so basically fruit fraud is the intentional adulteration of food for financial gain what i mean by that mm -hmm. is a producer he would interfere with the food so for example he may want to add stuff he may want to substitute stuff he may want to interfere with the label among other things for financial gain mm -hmm. and a perfect example of that would be for example if you're selling coconut water um you do not have enough coconut water so you may just want to add some water to increase on your quantity that is food fraud mm -hmm. for example we hear a lot of lots of stories of um those people selling cassava they mix it with wow. flour mm -hmm. we also hear stories of um, but international, where uh, I think in 2013 we heard about the, the horse meat scandal. Yes, so all of these are, are, are yes, yes, important yes. issues and we as consumers, we need to be very, very cognizant of these issues. Processed foods, yeah? Mm -hmm. Processed yes. Food, yeah. yes. Yeah. Processed no, but foods. Also but it's primary, I was also uh, yes. primary production people, yes. mm -hmm. they put, they inject the plants yeah. to get grow faster. Yes, they yes, use yes. a lot of hormones, hormones to grow faster, correct. even for the color. Mm -hmm. They inject stuff to make the color brighter and to shinier to attract, people. Yeah. To to attract people to buy. And all of those things, we don't know they're in our foods. Hold that even point. Mm -hmm. We'll do for another break. We'll fast and furious, you know. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. Mm -hmm. St. Lucia is blessed year-round with an abundance of fruits. But do you know that most of them go to waste? 
has an opportunity to invest either from a small to a large-scale agro-processing enterprise. You can contact the Ministry of Agriculture for further information. Welcome back. Boy, this food fraud thing is, is taking over. Um, like you mentioned, additives uh, to make money out of it, mm -hmm. um, false labeling, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm happy about, just moving forward, because we are on our last segment, um, I know okay, who's supposed to be testing these things when they come on island. Okay, um, we see, we see um, what do you call it? Plastic rice. Mm -hmm. Plastic rice. We hear. This we hear. Yes. Yes. yes, we hear. Allegedly. Yes. Allegedly. Alleged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, the cheese. I, I yeah. was told too. No, wait. Yes. You, that's the, you see, that's thing. People don't understand the process. Right. Mm -hmm. It is plastic. Even mm -hmm. margarine is plastic. Mm -hmm. it, it, when you read the standard for it, it says the plastic has to be smooth and so on. These because the process mm -hmm. it, it, they use to make it because mm -hmm. it is processed. It's not Correct. a primary product. Exactly. So you exactly. Are, you make the choice to buy that processed food so mm -hmm. you know you're not getting a full product mm -hmm. you know you're not getting a whole food mm -hmm. so there's a difference between a whole food and a processed product now the processed mm -hmm. product even if it is a plastic that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with it that mm -hmm. is the standard for it mm -hmm. so there's a difference between intentionally giving people things that are not supposed to be in the food versus this is what it's supposed to be right, 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 you right, understand right. what mm -hmm. i'm saying right, right, so right. um intentionally putting stuff there to make it look a certain way or for for people to buy it that's food that fraud, is food mm -hmm. fraud. Mm -hmm. but then if that's what it's supposed to be this is what it is supposed to be when you buy processed cheese you know you're not buying a, a, a whole product but you would not expect plastic to be in your it food it is not plastic mm -hmm. that is the it the process mm -hmm. to make it is a way you're going to make plastic so mm -hmm. when if you look at the standard for margarine it will tell you the plastic has to be so smooth that is the standard okay you understand what i'm yeah, saying yes, there's yes, nothing yes. wrong with it that mm -hmm. is what it's supposed to be mm -hmm. so you need to educate yourself as to what you're purchasing whether you want to or not yes mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. thing is this is what it is supposed to be the standard is that is it there's there's a difference between that mm -hmm. and somebody intentionally messing up mm -hmm. a product mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. what you need to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between a whole food mm -hmm. and a processed food. Okay. Most of us are buying processed foods because it is cheaper. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's a problem. I always wonder mm -hmm. why when we used to just go and pick up our things and eat it from the tree and yeah. eat our pigeon peas, they used yeah. to call it poor people food. Mm -hmm. Now all of us need to go back to be eating like the poor people because we need that to is our health food. Friendly and friendly. forget about all those pesticides and all of those things. We need to cut down on the use of those things. Definitely. We need to, cut down, we need to start eating our foods fresh and start, you know, understanding mm -hmm. what food safety is, mm -hmm. what people are doing in St. Lucia, and all of us have to be involved, not just one person. The consumer need to educate themselves so that they can demand from our producers. Consumer, consumer affairs. Yes, consumers board. need to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. board. I, I, also need to board. Yes, I think yes. what is um, of most imp the most important for us is that we need laboratory testing of our produce. Oh, yes. We need to be able yeah, to test yeah, our yeah, produce. Yeah, we yeah. need to be able to test our maximum residue limits of our pesticides. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to, to, to just walk into a supermarket. If you're not satisfied with a product that you buy, you can take it to the lab and ask them to test it for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm but happy, I'm happy um, we, um, the commissioning of our diagnostic lab at the union um, should be able to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. Well, I know they, uh, they will be doing the testing of, um, for example, animal feed, mm -hmm. fertilizers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But I am not sure whether consumer affairs will come on board with um, that other, that other um, 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 agency to us to Bureau of Standards. Bureau of Standards, mm -hmm. correct. To tell we us have, exactly. We also have the Caribbean Health Environmental Health uh, yes, Institute. Uh, yes, All of them yes, should yes, be. Yes, uh, yes. yeah. So I'm saying you, we need to be mindful of these things uh, mm. because we are killing ourselves, you know. Mm -hmm. yes. you, you, you know. So, I mean, we need to know what's, what's, in, what's in place. So moving forward, are, you, are we saying, hey, people, let's go back to basic. Let's go back to eat our primary food <laughs> and, grow, and grow it in our backyards more and then likely so that we know what we're eating. I would say I'm that just, I'm just putting our next there. step is to plant whatever you're going to eat. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my way of moving forward. Mm -hmm. Like the film says, it's everyone biz everyone's business. We're all involved because food safety, uh, one food safety instance um, can be very, very, very um, costly, mm -hmm. not just to you as an individual, but 
um, on the country's economic development. Mm -hmm. We're talking about people losing their, their days of work. Mm -hmm. um, trade, it can f affect our tourism industry. If a tourist come here and, and have a bad experience with their food, they may not want to come back. Mm -hmm. So food safety is everyone's business, mm -hmm. in my opinion. The environment um, where uh, food outlets operate, mm -hmm. Uh, I, 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 that's a touchy one. Eh? Mm -hmm. I mean, you go in there, you see people, you know, with sleeveless, you dress anyhow. Mm -hmm. The environment is just not right. Uh, I mean, if you if you happen to go in the kitchen where the things are being prepared, you want you. I'm sure you want to throw up. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Tell us. Again, it's, it's education. Do we know why we do things? Some people, you tell them, okay, wipe the table with how many percent bleach and water. Then they would just use water because they don't understand why should I put bleach in there? Mm -hmm. What is, why am I doing this? I mean, sometimes we walk in classrooms, we see all our chefs in their chef suits walking mm -hmm. around town. Mm -hmm. yes. And they know it is incorrect. And I always mm -hmm. tell them, when I see them, I That's say, true. it's either you are not a trained chef or you don't know what you're doing Correct. because a chef should not be walking around with his chef jacket all the way in the streets of Kassar when he's on his way to and work and so on. on. Yes. So we need to Bring look all at all those the contaminants things. Inside. The, mm -hmm. th there should be a flow in any kitchen and how things are done in mm -hmm. a processing plant. In a kitchen is the same. Mm -hmm. So you have your dirty room where you introduce your products and then it moves across until it gets to another point mm -hmm. where they don't cross contaminate. Mm -hmm. And when you have small spaces, this is very, very difficult yes, to implement. Yes, so there's yes. a possibility of cross-contamination. And you know, in St. Lucia, anytime we have a stomach problem, we say it's gas. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we say it's gas. Yeah. And by the time it could be food poisoning because we just don't understand how what is inside of our bodies. Yep. We don't know what we eat. Mm -hmm. And we have so many common food poisoning things that just happen by cross-contamination, yeah. hands not being washed properly, and so on. I think it's a whole education from ev for everybody. Like we said, it's everybody's business. The consumer, a good food revolution. A <laughs> good food revolution. <laughs> a good, a good safety revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we're about we really to end, need. give me some your final words. I think um, for me, what my final words would be um, on our government or those responsible for policy making, mm -hmm. I would want them to enforce the food safety policies if we have any in St. Lucia. I'm not too sure if we have any mm -hmm. that exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do have. But okay, so we need to enforce those policies and ensure that we make food safety everyone's business. Final words from you? Um, one of the things is that I always say education. Right. And it's not, it's not just saying it on TV. It's not just I'm having workshops or anything. You know, our people need to, you need to find ways where the people could understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Because even if we just say something here today, mm -hmm. a few people will hear, a few people will take it in. Others mm -hmm. need hands on. Mm -hmm. We need to actually go into the communities, mm -hmm. make it part of our culture mm -hmm. to make food safe. Mm -hmm. Make our farmers understand that you cannot spread a thing to them because Massey call you. You could tell them, I don't have today, exactly. you have to wait exactly. two weeks. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's all about money. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But we need to start looking at the health of our people and how much money it costs when everybody is sick it is I mean, everybody's asking for money for the health exactly. everybody's going everywhere saying i want money give mm -hmm. me two dollars give me three dollars because i need to do a surgery i need to do this how did we, it begin how did it begin <laughs> we need to start yeah. eating food that is healthy yeah. and wholesome to make sure that we are safe thank and you very stop much focusing people. On money. thank you very much thank you very much very important points i hope the, the you know the powers that be are listening you father thank you Sherian, thank you very much for being here, and I wish you all success, and I know you all, you, you all will carry on this beyond here today, okay? You've been watching Agriculture on the Move. Thank you for viewing, and remember, eat fresh, St. Lucia's best. The money stays here, and we eat the foods that are produced here. They are fresher than what's being put as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I'm Philip Sidney saying goodbye, and see you again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.